Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to take an SVG file and make it just a little bit bigger. It's going to be a starter off the map project. And so um, let's go to the Salty Yankee and get that file. But before we do, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, let's hit it. The Salty Yankee, this is where we're getting the SVG file. I'm already on her page, obviously, and scroll down a little bit to the featured Valentine's Day section. We are gonna be doing Pachaco. It's gonna be super cute. I've already done Hello Kitty and My Melody, so those YouTube tutorials are available here. The assembly portion is actually on Instagram because uh, I did it live with, uh, with other people. So let's do Pachaco. I'm gonna go into Design Space at this time. And let's go to um, images. I already have it in here. And I'm gonna search for Pachaco. You will need to upload it into Design Space. Um, oh, I can, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna add to Canvas. Okay. Because this is a beginner one. So the person that I am co-hosting tonight live is Lily and she's never done an off the mat. So we're gonna keep it super, super simple. So first thing is when we go to resize this, let's click on the lock button because when we resize um, the width, we want the height to change accordingly. So when I'm looking at this, I'm, I, you know, the width is four inches, the height is six and a half. So obviously the width is the shorter one. Let's make the width, let's make this really simple and do the width at 11 and a half inches. So at 11 and a half inches, the height is just, just short of, or he's just short of 19 inches. So this is a baby off the map project, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna slice it so that there is a puzzle piece to it. And then with these floating hearts, these two, we're gonna add some acetate to it and um, make it kind of just floating up there. It will be super cute. All right, so we've resized this to 11 and a half inches. Let's just ungroup everything. Your screen may look a little bit different because you may be at 100% of this image. So it may look like this. So I do like to be able to see the whole thing without scrolling so much. So I am gonna reduce this back to 25%. Okay, so let's go to ungroup it. And at 18 inches, we are going to have one seam in the black background because unless unless you're using 12 by 24 cardstock, which I will not be, um, you could have this completely seamless because there's nothing on here that you can't cut that's gonna be bigger than that. But um, we are gonna cut the black background because the black background is the one that's running 18.7 inches. So we're probably gonna slice this um, maybe around the face right here. And the reason why I wanna do the face actually maybe we'll do it right here in the glasses okay and the reason why i say that is because we can make the glasses sit over that seam so we won't see the seams and we can cover it all up i think so let's do that um let's see at 19 inches i think we can do it okay <laughs> i'm excited now that i realize like oh my gosh it's gonna be a beginner but not a beginner okay so let's ungroup all these pieces and see what we have so here's the white and we will just leave it there for a minute let's look at these glasses so the glasses i want i want to see how big that offset is. So that white is kind of gonna give me an idea. So with this one, with the glasses, we're gonna go to offset, okay? And I think the offset is a little bit smaller than that. Let's do 0 0.10 and, oops, let's do that again because I didn't do it right. <laughs> let's go and type in 0 0.10 hit your tab key so that it updates and let's apply, okay? So you see we created this brand new offset. I think this offset is actually even too big. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's do this offset again and click on 0 0.05 and see what that looks like. I, that might be too skinny. Let's do, I know, this is, the, I could easily reach out to Kayla and ask her, but we're not always gonna know the designer. So this is a good exercise in trying to figure out how to make this work. So I'm gonna go with point, 
we did 0.05 and 0.1 was too big. So let's do 0.075 right in the middle. Hit the tab and apply. Let's see what this looks like. Let's put this in here. And that looks pretty darn good, right? So which means when I do that seam, this is gonna sit on top, it's gonna cover the black seams. So let's get rid of this one, we don't need this. So we're good with this, right? Let's put this back in here for just a split second, okay? And let's go to shapes, and you're gonna grab a square, and we're gonna make this square 12 inches. And we're gonna slice this right, hold on, let's grab Um, let's duplicate this for a second, the black background. We're just gonna move it to the side, okay? This one, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna place this right here. We're going through the glasses, okay? So we're gonna grab this square, and I want you to scroll down and just grab the black background. So hit your shift key, or your control key, and grab this. So we've got two things highlighted right now, okay? And then we're gonna slice. Oh, hold up, <laughs> I messed up. Undo for a second. That ear was hanging off by itself. I don't want that. I wanna move this over like that. <laughs> that was a good mistake to make. So you saw if I had done that, my ear would have been sliced off. I don't want that. Okay, now grab your square, scroll up, um, scroll all the way to the bottom, hit your control key, grab the, oh, did I grab it? Yeah, and grab the black background and slice. Okay, so now let's look at the pieces that we have. We've got this piece, which is 11.47 by 9.21. We can definitely cut that on the Cricut, right? So that's gonna be one big piece. We can delete that, that's the slicing results. I just wanted to see how big that was. And this piece down here, is now 8.76 by 9.48. We can cut that on the Cricut. We can cut this on the Cricut. What is going to be amazing is this line right here will be completely seamless because we're gonna put the glasses on top. It's gonna cover the, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, hopefully I haven't lost you. Let's delete this, we don't need that. So we've got our black background, we've got our white pieces, we've got everything. What we need is these two pieces, we're gonna add acetate to it. We're gonna to get to that. Let's do that right now. We know this, um, let's see, let's ungroup this and let's just make, grab all three and let's duplicate it because we need it in black. That's gonna remain in black. This, what we're gonna do now is, let's move this over yeah, I actually don't need this, so let's delete it. I know, uh, things are changing on the fly. This is what happens when you finally look and you dig in and you see that what you can do. I am so excited that this little baby Pachaco is it's truly gonna be seamless, even the black background. So that's gonna be awesome. All right, each one of these hearts, it needs to connect to the image, right, with acetate. So let's grab a little, um, a square, and bring it over here and we're gonna um let's unlock it so we're gonna make it kind of skinny like this we know this will be long enough to touch pachaco i think it will be long enough let's um let's bring in another image just so that i can see for sure <laughs> we're gonna make this so perfect all right this is another trick let's um lock it and change this to 11 and a half right i think that's what we did yeah um and that's the other reason why i don't like to tell people to just take your arrow and make it bigger and let's do it this size because if we need to recreate something it's easier to um, be able to type it in so i'm going to change this back to 11 and a half inches okay and i'm going to flatten this one just so that it doesn't get mixed up with the other pieces, okay? All I wanna do is I wanna put this guy back over here and I wanna, I wanna make sure that my acetate is long enough to reach and, it, and it's plenty. 
So <laughs> let me undo that. I just stretched it out. Okay, so now we can get rid of Pachaco again, okay? So I like this acetate piece. I'm going to duplicate it two times because we've got three pieces of acetate that we need to connect to. So on this one, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna combine and weld. This piece I'm gonna change from black and maybe I'll change it to gray. That's gonna be my acetate. That's gonna sit in between the layers and then my black and the heart is gonna sit on top of it, okay? All right, and we can even change the hearts to different colors. I might add Let's change this to a different color. I don't know what color I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna change it to blue. Just so that I know, I'm gonna change it to something. I haven't decided on my cardstock, but let's go and add acetate to each one of these hearts. Um, and we can even make this one thinner because this heart is even smaller. Um, we could go to, we could unlock it and maybe make this just 0.5 and maybe delete that. We'll duplicate this one. Okay, so now we're gonna add this and this and grab the two and combine and weld. So then change this one to the acetate so that it will all cut on in acetate. So there's that one and then we're gonna go grab this one and over here and do the same thing. Go to combine and weld and change the color. So these three layers or these three pieces will be an acetate. Now, we know that our slicing happens right here, right? And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space so that I can see where that slices. I'm gonna bring this back, arrange and bring to the front. I'm gonna put him back so I can see where my slicing goes through. So it's gonna go through my glasses and also my eyes, okay? So that means what I wanna do with this piece is let's unlock or ungroup it. And I want the eye right here, I'm gonna duplicate these two pieces. Because if you remember, there's seams running through the eyes, okay? I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna duplicate it because I need this in white. That's gonna go back over here, but this, I am going to take each one and go to contour, and I wanna remove the outside, I want just the inside. And I'm gonna change that to black. Do the same thing with this one, okay? So go to contour, um, remove this piece, change this to black. And why we do that is now, let, let's look at this seam again, okay? So this, I'm gonna change this color just so that you can see it a little bit better, okay? We'll change it back. But this is our little seam, right? It won't be that apparent because we're gonna push it together and tape it together, right? But let's put these pieces, oops, hold on. <laughs> Let me group this back together so that just so that we can do this exercise. So this is gonna go back here, right? This is gonna, let's bring this to the front. This is gonna go on top here. And you see how it covers that? It's gonna cover this seam right here. This goes over here, right? And we're gonna do one more thing to get rid of even the many, many seams that are left. This is gonna go up here. This is gonna go in here. And you see how the seams pretty much disappeared, right? We're gonna do one more thing. Um, we're gonna take these sunglasses, okay? We're gonna duplicate it. And we're gonna get the inside circle, the inside hearts, okay? So let's change this back to black so we don't forget to cut that in black. But this, we're gonna contour, and we don't want the outside, we want the two inside hearts. And we're also gonna change that to black. So now, this is gonna go here. This is gonna go inside. The white's gonna go on top. 
Um, actually, you know, if I did that, I don't even need the little heart, the little eyes inside. But that's even better. We'll just cut it so that you can see it. But it's gonna be seamless and beautiful. All right, we are done. You wanna save it, cut it, and I will see you live on Wednesday uh, with Lily at, I believe, 4 p.m. Pacific on Instagram to piece this all together. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, it's gonna be exciting. Thank you so much. I will see you then. Bye, guys.